Hello and welcome to this Progratto 46 replay. We have the pleasure of seeing Black Gold Saw playing together in a platoon with Arkel and they both actually unlocked it at this point. This was during, I think, during the marathon. Uh, it was still going and uh, Black actually did a no life. He actually completed all the 10 stages by playing. Arkel skipped a few, so he just bought it with a discount, but uh, Black got it for absolutely for free. And he already has a gun mark on it uh, during the mar marathon, so he actually uh, he did quite a good job. Um, I've got it myself as well, although uh, because I started at a new job, I didn't have time to complete many stages of the challenge. I, I completed three or four, so I bought it at a discount, but uh, since they bundled it with a lot of stuff, you basically still paid uh, the price for a normal tier A premium for it, if you only got 30 or 40% discount. Um, it was worth it though, I, I do enjoy this vehicle, I do enjoy the new mechanic of the gun. I think the gun handling is nice, nice, the speed is nice, gun depression is good. It has no armor, but you don't need armor if you play with a brain and if you are used to playing an order loader. Uh, this isn't exactly an order loader, but um, it's an order reloader, so the system works slightly differently. Um, you can actually just fire one shot and then wait for it to reload. And if you do wait for the first shot to reload, you actually got pretty competitive DPM as a single shot tank and if you're in a pinch and you need to fire the remaining shots you spend a lot longer to reload but uh, black showing some really good awareness here shooting the t28 uh, prototype in the side there where it's weak and the is3 doesn't actually spot him um, he's just trying to get some uh, damage in the middle some vision up but shortly he'll notice that the left flank is actually under pressure and he'll go there. But in the meantime he's just reloading. Um, I, so far I've played this tank only as skirmishes because I, I just uh, started it with the crew it came with. So that crew has absolutely no skills whatsoever. Um, Black actually put his, uh, one of his female crews in it. You can actually uh, hear that. So he's got like three crew skills on it. Um, so he's, uh, his crew is a lot more effective already. Um, but yeah, I'm training up my crew in skirmishes until I've got at least the first skills of six Sense and the gun handling skills. Um, after that, I'll uh, probably play it in randoms. Um, but it's, it's an enjoyable tank to play. I, I have to get used to the mechanic. I tend to um, still think it's an order loader and fire all the shots all the time and that will give you a really low DPM actually. So it's, it's not really that smart but it's just something I have to get in my head. Um, Black unfortunately doesn't seem to be spotting the guy straight in front of him. Well now he does but before he didn't and the gun handling, I don't know what that was but that was uh, kind of special. Uh, the gun handling on this tank is actually pretty nice and it's funny. It's a uh, 212 penetration. It's visually it's exactly the same gun as the uh, Chieftain T95 Clan Wars reward tank uh, we got for a campaign, but our Clan Wars reward tank has only got 202 pen when this has 212 pen and better gun handling, I think, and more speed. So um, can't wait for them to actually buff the Clan War tank as well. Um, but this tank, yeah, I, I, I do enjoy it. Um, I don't get that much time to play anymore, unfortunately, because as I said, I started a new job, so I get home at like 7 every day, and then I've got my other stuff to take care of, and before you know it, it's time to go to bed already, because uh, I need to get up at 6 in the morning again. So, yeah, that's... Uh, I, I am going to make videos still all the time, but I don't know if there, there will be as many ace tankers of my own uh, on the channel. I, I can't say because I don't know how much time I'll have to actually play this game. I do want to get at least two evenings in to play uh, World of Tanks uh, every week, uh, which um, I'll get to soon probably. Uh, because I still, I still want to play the game, but I just have a lot less time now. I was freelancing before and had a lot more freedom. Um, and before that I was working in London uh, and I had a lot more time to play games as well uh, but unfortunately now I don't anymore which is a little bit of a shame because I still really love World of Tanks and I still like to play it a lot but I just I just don't seem to have the time uh, I played one or two hours last weekend didn't get any ace badges so there w won't be any uh, replays of that anymore 
Uh, in the meantime, Arkali is uh, being super aggressive with 200 HP, and he gets taken out. Uh, meanwhile, Black is just sniping and uh, just racking up the damage. He's got 1800 so far, but it will, this will go uh, into the plus a lot more. Um, and he's actually uh, going to go really aggressive on this flank now, because it doesn't seem to that there's many enemy tanks left here on this flank. And Arkal gets a little bit salty in the in the chat because his team didn't actually cover him. Uh, but you get that with random teams, they never pay attention. Um, it seems this flank is a lot nicer actually now, with a little bit more cover, a little bit uh, more useful stones. So I actually need to go here sometime. I usually just hang around the middle because you can actually um, influence all flanks from the middle. So going to this side rarely is a good thing because you the only thing you can do is long range uh, s uh, snipe shots like this um, but if the enemy is not actually in these positions if they've retreated behind the, the the ridges in the middle and stuff you can't actually shoot anything from here and they can spot you because they can just put a light somewhere in like a, a4 bush and you will be perma spotted trying to do anything here so uh, but in this match it's actually going really well and since uh, black has got six cents he knows exactly when he spotted Two 12mm penetration bounces off the side of a Mutz because World of Tanks mechanics. Um, and he's reloading again. And now he's telling his team to actually come over because they're still camping way back. I mean, an e Emil 1. That's got like an absolute garbage gun for sniping. I don't know why he's so far back. He's got shitty pen and a shitty gun accuracy. So, uh, Black moves up here. Kills the TD first because he's the biggest fat. Kills the other guy. And then uh, the, the one of the nice things about this tank is you don't need to press the C key to reload your clip. It will automatically do that. It's also a really useful thing to have. And now we've got the back of uh, Progretto here. So damage. He tracks the Progretto here. And then he just waits. He's got, he's got him tracked and now he just spots him. Pulls back behind uh, the bush. And just starts shooting him in the ass again. Got some uh, some nice assistance damage, and he's just waiting for his clip to reload a little so he can do more damage uh, uh, while his friendlies can't shoot the enemy team uh, tank behind the stone. And now we've got this IS-6, but long range this gun is a little bit potato if it's not fully aimed. So um, it it's not really suited for long range snapshot, but it, it is shot shots. But it seems to be actually be doing quite alright at short range snapshots. And the penetration is quite rather nice. I mean, people complain that 212 penetration is not enough, but it is definitely enough if you know what you're doing and if you're just shooting the weak spots. Um, be that as it may, that uh, Wargaming is removing all the weak spots from all the tanks, but I mean, you can still hit the ones that are on tanks, so you can still always do damage. Black is just spotting this guy and tracking him just so he gets the assistance damage for it. And yeah, that was the match. So. Uh, not actually a shabby match, let's take a look at the results. So there we go, Ace Tanker obviously, he also managed to get a patrol duty, high caliber and top gun. Managed to get the combined total of nearly 1600 base XP, which uh, is really good for an Ace. Actually this at the moment is still an Ace, at the moment the requirements are completely retarded, so you need at least 1500 for an Ace. Much like the AMX 1357 uh, when it was released. Uh, but this was a really nice ace, all due to probably that spotting damage as well, next to his own damage. Uh, managed to do 4215 damage uh, himself and 3.5k spotting at the end. So yeah, that's a really respectable score, 7k damage combined. Um, nearly 8k actually, so that was really nice. Uh, he isn't running a premium account, so 89,000 credits and 79 profit which is really really solid as well i mean that's why you want the tier 8 uh, premium tank so yeah all in all a really nice match i hope you enjoyed it if you did feel free to rate it subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time